What do you resist? <laughs> what in your life are you pushing against? Because when you understand this, it may just be the key to everything. Sound interesting? We are talking about resistance today. So if that sounds like a topic that you want to know more about and how you can look at resistance to be in control of your health, your happiness, your abundance, your everything, then you are in the right place. So hi, I am Kylie Ansett. I am the Alignment Whisperer and I am life coach and guide to seekers of alignment, people who are looking for their inner brilliance, that part of them that has the answers, that knows that resistance is futile. <laughs> so I'm coming to you from beautiful Sydney, Australia, and this is your daily dose of alignment. So resistance is the topic, and I'm excited to share this with you because I think it's something we don't really understand. I think it's something that we underrate, or dismiss or pay no attention to and the way I see it it's kind of everything in fact I see resistance as being the opposite to alignment and as you know I am all about alignment alignment is my <laughs> is my thing and I know for a lot of you alignment is your thing so let's look at what I see is the opposite to alignment which is interestingly enough not unalignment but resistance now the interesting thing is that first of all um, not resisting does not mean giving up or giving in now it would potentially appear that way but that is not what lack of resistance actually is. Lack of resistance is something a lot more subtle and a lot more intrinsically uh, empowering. So first of all, let's look at what resistance looks like and what it does to us. Pretty much, okay, I'm a massage therapist, so I work on people's tight, <laughs> tight necks and shoulders and so on. And this, this blows me away because, okay, sometimes it has to do with what they're doing physically. Yeah, yeah, that, that is sometimes the case. But in the thousands and thousands and thousands of massages I have given, the only time that I touched somebody who had no tightness, and I am equating this with resistance here. So no tightness like I was this was very unusual you know I I kind of was like okay this certainly um yeah so this person was like the, the, there was just there was no tension in any muscles and this person had the job that was could be considered one of the most stressful jobs in the world like it, it uh, basically what this uh, this guy did was he uh, was a carer for adults who had uh, mental disabilities and who were violent. So um, there would, would often be a lot of uh, physical kind of, you know, he'd have to kind of wrestle them when they were as adults kind of throwing tantrums like a child but in the body of a fully grown man. Um, so that was his job, you know, he was a, a carer, he looked after them, he, you know, did their, their daily stuff but on, on a lot of occasions there was some pretty major incidents that would happen on the daily. So when I massaged him, it was pretty surprising that someone with a job that most of us would see as intensely stressful had no resistance in his body and I figured that the reason he was so beautifully suited to this job was because he was just so cool calm and relaxed he he was someone who just nothing phased him and so 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 he was perfectly suited to that job fantastic but from my perspective as a massage therapist he was 
his mind state was causing his body to be have no resistance and his uh, the alignment that he kept in his mind even when there was you know chaos reigning around him allowed his the physical manifestation to stay beautifully uh have no resistance and and this to me was like a hugely eye-opening so I had to say, okay, this has nothing to do with what we're physically doing um, and everything to do with what we are, you know, what's going on in here. Everything to do with, with how our thoughts are and how our feelings are. And therein lies the resistance. So again, I talk to people in my work about stress all the time and stress does not mean you know, you have a job where, where you have, um, you know, grown men physically throwing tantrums. That would be considered stressful. Stress is how you react to it. So this particular person, he reacted with no stress, even though the circumstances were stressful. And that's why a lot of the time when I have this discussion with people and they say, but my life's not stressful, like I don't feel stressed. But the thing is that they are, they've got so much resistance to any, anything and everything from like just looking at themselves in the mirror can cause resistance. Just having a conversation about the toast in the morning with their husband can cause resistance. It's not about external circumstances. External circumstances can look perfect, but if you're holding resistance, then you're gonna have a lack of alignment and then like from on a physical level your body will be tight absolutely but on a an alignment level you'll be out of alignment so that to me is incredibly powerful and incredibly important to understand when we are creating resistance when we're out of resistance to anything that's going on in our lives anything at all this is where we're going to be out of alignment now Here's the interesting thing, because when there's resistance, your immune system is depressed. You actually have more likelihood that you will get ill, more likelihood that you will, um, you know, like, like at all our bodies always have, you know, germs in them, cancers in them. This is, this is natural for our body to have it. And if your immune system is pumping, you will keep those at bay with no problem. But if you have resistance, so think of, think of like riding a bike <laughs> with your feet, like using your feet as the brakes, right? Like that's resistance. That, you know, what that does to your shoes is what resistance does <laughs> to your immune system. Like it just wears it away. It just grinds it down. It just causes that friction causes destruction and so it's your immune system absolutely your immune system is definitely where where um that that's how it will manifest not just as tight muscles like i was saying before but as actually um illnesses uh mental physical emotional all of the illnesses that you can imagine are caused by resistance now here's the interesting thing because we think I, I i a lot of the time we think that not resist not having resistance equals uh giving in giving in or giving up or um you know like you know don't resist arrest so so therefore you you know <laughs> take me away <laughs> um the opposite of resistance is not giving in the opposite of resistance is allowance now, that is a state of mind, not a state of physical manifestation. Um, maybe that's not the best way to put it, but it's, it is so much about how your state of mind is. If you have a, an allowing state, it doesn't mean a giving in state. Can you feel the difference in those two terms? Can you feel what they're like? When you give in, give in and give up, there is actually resistance in that because you want it a certain way and now you even you haven't stopped wanting that certain way, you have just given up. Um, so, 
so that is not there's there is still resistance in giving up and that's why when uh it, it, it's it's very close to suppressing something so when you have an emotion the people sort of think there's only two ways that we can do it you know just say you ha have you feel angry there's either you explode with anger or you suppress it and neither of those is healthy you know one of them is going to be damaging to everyone around you and you because whenever you get angry the first person that gets all that the, the chemical explosiveness is you and then it kind of gets projected out to everyone else but when you suppress all of that just gets kept within so not that's that's not allowing is a totally different state of mind allowing is actually acceptance and um, and embrace and there's no resistance in allowance there is no re resistance in it none whatsoever it's like okay I'm trying to think how my analogy of the of the push bike <laughs> fits into this I'm sure it will so ah okay so hmm. yeah here it is when when there's resistance, you're putting your feet down and you're using, you know, your brand new school shoes <laughs> to stop the bike. My son did that all the time. I mean, he never grew out of his shoes. He wore out of them because they, they wouldn't even last a year. They would just be rags. <laughs> he, would, he would use his shoes for brakes and God knows what else um, when he was a little boy. And so that's resistance. But allowance is where... You just, your feet aren't touching the ground and you, if, if the thing that you, if, if the thing that you want is to stop, right? And so you think the only way to do it is to either, um, let's see, either put your feet down and have resistance, which damages your shoes, or to kind of like just, uh, like just hold on like that and like kind of crash because you haven't put the brakes on. Whereas allowance is where you just, in a very graceful way, allow your, yourself to keep going until the momentum itself stops. There's that analogy. Now, I don't know if that actually works or not, <laughs> but that's the one I'm going with. So I hope that kind of resonated for you. I hope it gave a little bit of insight about how damaging resistance is and how resistance is, is a choice always no matter what's happening around us um, and the fact that it's a choice allow that to be empowering for you allow the fact that you do always have a choice in whether you resist or whether you allow be something that that gives you a feeling of lightness and joy and happiness hello welcome <laughs> it's so lovely to see you um, that is my message to you today about resistance and and allowance and how we can use this knowledge to allow ourselves to be happier and healthier and glide through life on our bicycle <laughs> you have to go back and watch the beginning to understand what I'm talking about there um, but anyway that is that's what I wanted to share this morning about resistance. So thank you so much for playing with me in the Alignment Sandbox. And please remember, the power is within you. Bye-bye.